I never got going. Thank you very much. Oh my God, it's such a pleasure. I don't go by individuals. I'm on stage. I'm a performer. Yes. You're not hanging out with friends. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you guys to like me as an individual. Well, thank God. Trying to entertain you. Damn it. I'm trying to fucking entertain you. All right? I'm fucking piss, man. Won't you let me? Would you fucking let me entertain you? What are you pissed about? Fucking douchebag. Just let me fucking do my thing. Yes. Thank you. Um, 24, I'm an adult, I'm a man. I do adult things. Shut the fuck up. I do adult things. I bought some condoms the other day, so I should be having a lot of sex soon. I'm wearing one right now, just in case something happens, I'll be protected. From yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, I moved out of an apartment today. I, uh, I was living with an 18 year old. He was saying stuff like, dude, I would have fucked her so bad. Like, I believe him. Like, had he the opportunity, he would have fucked that girl very badly. <laughs> he was a deep thinker, though. He was. I left my room and he was, uh, there was smoke in the kitchen. He was cooking. I said, hey, did you, did you burn something, man? He's like, I think I did. Deep thoughts, man. Deep thoughts. <laughs> He's going to the community college, I think. I went to community college, I liked it. Man. Community college, it's sort of like a real college, except everyone's invited. <laughs> community college is a camp bar in the university system. Um, I had a philosophy <laughs> teacher once, so he not. died halfway through the semester. Um, and I visited his grave once to turn in a late assignment. <laughs> the deadline had passed. So now I have a double space paper I spent 15 minutes on and I'm going to wander the earth <laughs> forever. I had a public speaking teacher. She was self-conscious. and Like you'd think if you were a public speaking teacher, you would have gotten over that. It's like me coming up here being like, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> Won't you let me entertain you? That's what I did. I can't even finish that. I definitely did that. Um, I think we're being tricked by the um, fragrance industry because there's nothing that smells as good as real human scent. You know, which is why I'm going to pitch my own line of products called Sex with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Features all the benefits of having sex with me with none of the hours of indescribable pleasure. <laughs> and poetic interludes where I describe the tortured innocence in your eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so I got back from London. I went to London last week. Thank you very much. I went there. It's an accomplishment. No, it isn't. Um, but it, there's something going on in America. I had to deal with the TSA. Fuck those people. If I brought a bomb into an airport, I wouldn't need to make it past them because that'd be my final destination. <laughs> They're creeps, man. They're creeps. It's gross. You know, but, there's nude scanners. It's nasty. You know? I mean, I'll, I'll scan you nude, but I'll do it. That's what am I talking about? <laughs> All right. A lot of middle age people going to So I'm kind of broke. I'm kind of broke. Um, but I'm not poor, though. Because poor is a lifestyle. And broken pies is a rebound somewhere coming. Um, I have a driving crappy car, and that's kind of different. It's hard to break up when you drive a bad car. Because I figure if you're driving something nice, you can look over at like a leather seat and be like, she's gone, man. But when you have a crappy car, you do the same thing. You're like, that was the last one. Who else would possibly <laughs> go for this? There's nothing after that. But you learn a lot in driving a bad car. You learn about maintenance, patience, how the world works. Because my car is like the world. You know, you got like uh, the driver, American, who's a control system. You got the equipment, which is China, basically. Um, you got Africa, which is the broken part, but everything seems to work without it. I think my car is like uh, my locks and windows on the left side of my car don't work. Like I think I had a stroke. I don't know. <laughs> That's my theory. I don't have a CD player in my car, so I still mess around with cassettes. And I only have four of them, so when I ask people what they want to listen to, it's a multiple choice question. And all of the answers are Willie Nelson. He's still got it. Um, all right. 
was talking about breakups, I think. I think I said something about that. And it's hard to, you can't be honest when you break up with someone. You can't really be honest. No, it's like, hey, you know all that stuff I was saying? Like, I didn't, I didn't mean it. But I didn't realize when I said it, I didn't mean it. But now I realize it. And it's good, but I never want to see it again. <laughs> you gotta coat it with crap, you know? You'd be like, I think it's time for us to see other people. You know, we are moving in different directions. Like, it's a team decision. It's like, what if I don't want to see other people? You know, what if I want to just cry in a pillow for eight months? If I want to gather your hair from my bed, just hold it. I want to go to Apple. Can we go to Applebee's? Let's not do the other people. We'll go to Applebee's. It'll be just like our first and first through eighth date. In Applebee's. All right. I think I'm done. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, I can. Sure. Um, just text it. So, um, my grand, well, my parents are getting kind of old. Uh, they get letters from the AARP, and I think that stands for something, but it's also the sound old people make when they die. Um, if they're lucky. And my grandma's got tremors, which is kind of hard to watch, especially since it's a VHS copy. <laughs> Nobody has a VCR. Those are good films, man. My grandpa has cabin fever. That's stupid. All right, I'm done. Thank you very much.